Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you recall, earlier this year, we started a series called Featured Filmmaker, where we hand off our channel to some of our friends in the industry so they can talk about some of the cool projects they have going on and some of the gear they're using. This time around, we have James McKenzie, a DP out of St. Louis, talking about a super portable data wrangling solution using Glyph NVMe drives. So without further ado, here's James. Okay, uh, back at it. Um, hi, I'm James McKenzie. I'm a DP based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, I'm gonna to talk about my Digi system uh, in excruciating detail. And I will be talking about the Glyph Atom Pro NVMe SSD. It's hot, nasty, fast, and it is rather capacious, topping out at eight terabytes of storage space. So buckle up, because I will be talking for fucking way too long. I work for a company called Brut Strobe Studios here, and we do a little bit of everything, uh, stills, motion, post. So as I came along as a, as a DP, the IT stuff always kind of stuck with me. And so when we started getting into the camera systems that shoot through a lot of data, I needed to manage that data. We do jobs of all shapes and sizes. We had a lot of uh, pretty pretty small, nimble crews, and so I did not necessarily have a data wrangler in the budget, uh, so I wrangled my own data. I found uh, this digiplate system when it when it first came out, um, and at that point it was just a just a plate, a cheese plate. You could bolt your uh, laptop to it and bolt hard drives to the bottom, and it was it was nice to just have all that stuff collected so the cables didn't get jostled around when you're moving data. But as that system developed, I continued to invest in it and I started modifying it. So I now have this full case system that um, I've customized to some extent, and it handles pretty much all of our uh, data management. First and foremost, everything is built into a Pelican 1510 case. It's self-contained and the whole point is to be able to pull this thing off the plane, out of the car, whatever, and be up and be able to dump media within seconds. So um, the way it's set up, one of the first customizations I made was to have a universal power in. I get my power cable, this little nitric connector. We'll go right into here in a little quarter twist to get that thing powered up. Inside the case, the, the laptop is clamped into the, the digiplate itself. And then underneath that, um, I have my drives. Right now I'm using Glyph Atom RAIDs, four terabyte disks. Um, and I'm also uh, gonna convert this to use the new eight terabyte Pro RAID. So a uh, new thing for me this year was the Glyph Atom Pro RAID. The Glyph Atom Pro has a couple of killer features, namely size and speed. The size referring to the capacity, not necessarily a physical size, because it's about the same size as the Atom RAID. It's also about three times as fast because it's got the NVMe storage inside. I had spent a lot of time talking with uh, support from Glyph. What they basically told me is that the Glyph RAIDs especially are, are using like every ounce of energy, every ounce of power uh, that the USB uh, spec basically can provide. And so if your dock is not actually quite giving the full power that it should be for the specification, you'll actually lose power to your drives and you can cause damage and other issues and stuff like that. So I'm using a Glyph Thunderbolt dock. This dock is bolted onto, it just, it's just like a piece of perforated aluminum. And then underneath that, the power supply lives under there. So um, I've kind of got a couple layers to keep everything neat and tidy, which is really slick for me. It was all about simplifying everything when I'm on set so I can get everything pre-wired and everything lives in here. And I literally just take one cable, plug it into my MacBook, and that provides power and data, both for the mag readers and the drives that I'm offloading to. Um, what else? So yeah, inside I've got my tier laid out, cooling, um, power, data, dock, and then I just have a kind of a bigger case. I've got every type of cable backup that I could possibly use from Ethernet to USB-C to, you know, weird esoteric ones that almost never come out of here. I have currently mounted up two mag readers that are in the case. Um, I have a Red Mini mag reader and a DJI Cine SSD reader. Um, I've got those set up so that when I am loading media, I can access those from the top without having to lift up the tray. Um, I can just stick them in, stick the media in from the top and go from there. 
The drive itself has kind of a, a captive cable that you can use. So um, you're getting read and write speeds north of 2000 megabytes per second. I've seen it peak at like 2800 megabytes per second. There are times if I have multi-day shoots, multi-camera shoots, you know, larger format stuff, more and more data gets poured through these. So having an eight terabyte option is, is pretty rad. And that's uh, pretty smoking hot, nasty fast. So I'm very happy with that. So I've got a mag here that I shot uh, my last production and I'll go through the quick process of dumping that and just see what kind of speeds we're getting. On the eight terabyte pro raid, we're seeing speeds closer to 2300, 2400 megabytes per second. So like a three times speed improvement over the, uh, the standard grade. So that's that NVMe goodness kicking in. I spent a lot of time over the years customizing my digit system. So maybe some of the information that I've learned the hard way will get you the easy way. I don't know that I have an ending, but I don't care. Got it.